first place in the day that usually sees monsoon rain is Mount Charleston, of course. But along with the rain comes lightning, which has already started two small fires in just the last couple of days. Patrick Walker is live in Kyle Canyon, where officials are taking some extra precautions. Patrick? Well, Denise and Brian, don't let the clouds and that rain that's off in the distance fool you. It is tinder dry here in Kyle Canyon. And because it's monsoon season, everyone up here now on high alert. I really didn't expect to have a house to come back to. Dennis Lovell stuck it out as long as he could as he watched the Carpenter One fire engulf the hillsides surrounding his home five years ago. It came from here all the way over to that ridge, and when I left, it was on that mountain right behind us. The massive blaze charred roughly 28,000 acres of Mount Charleston wilderness and came dangerously close to some of the homes up here. You can still see how close the fire got to the Rainbow Subdivision, all these blackened trees, the fire creeping down the hill, scorching the trunks of these still live pine trees, at least partially alive. It got so close, however, it came within just feet of some of these homes. The next time a fire breaks out, these neighborhoods may not be so lucky. In this yellow bag, we have our chainsaw, hand tools, and a net. With a surge in monsoon moisture in the region, there has also been a surge in manpower. A 14-member Helitac crew from Idaho flew in yesterday from a fire in Utah. So far this morning, we did one recon around the Charleston Mountain area, and uh, then we're here, so went for the lightning to roll through. They can look for fires from above, dump water on small fires, or fly firefighters right to the flames to try to keep any small blaze from growing out of control. They'll be here until the storm chances decrease, but engineer Tolo Martinez is based right here in Kyle Canyon. Anytime there's monsoonal moisture coming in, comes lightning. His crew is off to a busy start, returning from fires on the other side of the mountain. He's part of a small army of firefighters, ready to fight the conditions to try to keep any new blazes in check. And of course, true to form here in the southwest, most of what we have seen today has been dry lightning along with that thunder. Uh, but when that rain comes, it does pose a problem. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll take a look at some of the flood control measures up here in Kyle Canyon and on Mount Charleston that came in the wake of the Carpenter One fire and the subsequent floods that happened over the next couple of years. For now, reporting live, I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.